and enlightenment. Well, I prefer to call it ascension. Um, we're all ascending. And, and ascension is just raising your frequency from, you know, depressed, I mean, life is terrible, to a higher frequency of joy and ecstasy and love, um, gratitude. Those are all really high frequencies. And so enlightenment is basically lightening up <laughs> on a sort of slowly, slowly, quicker, quicker basis. We can do it in one second. We can be enlightened for a second. We can go from, I'm in separation from you, I think you're an asshole, to I'm in love with you and I have joy that you're such a beautiful being. Mm. And in that moment I can unite with you and be enlightened for a moment. So enlightenment can be for a second. But what we want to do is add more and more seconds to who we are. The karma return of an enlightened moment is another enlightened moment. So the more of those you could accumulate over the years, the more you stay at a higher and higher frequency because the higher frequency comes back to you. Mm -hmm. And you get to go, oh, here we are again. Enjoy it together. And it happens more and more. So eventually, uh, your expanded love and joy and high frequency allows you to cross dimensions um, because because basically there isn't anything that isn't you but our small self is so concerned about itself that it doesn't stretch to understand that you could talk to a tree or communicate with the birds these are things that shamans used to do but now the regular Joe who probably was a shaman in it some other life is now actually um, tapping into the crossing these dimensions and recognizing how far they can reach. So as an example, uh, you might start out by talking to a tree or a bird or an animal and, or a fairy and slowly just keep on expanding in your love to include something that you didn't include before, like a crystal. Most of all crystals are beings. Every single one of them you can talk to. Uh, and I slowly did that until I got to the point I started talking to my guides. I started talking to a jaguar. And then I started talking to Quetzalcoatl, who is an ascended master like Jesus and uh, many other ascended masters. We all ascend. And once we ascend, we don't have to be on the earth anymore if we don't want to. Now, the difference between now and any other time on earth is we are trying en masse to ascend the earth and the people together. But there's an opportunity to do so, and that's the plan. Now, we don't have to leave our body once we've ascended. We can stay here as immortal beings and live in heaven, as it were, in paradise, here, if we prefer, rather than moving on, like they used to do, because they were alone, like Jesus was alone, um, maybe not totally, but enough that he has more fun out there with uh, everybody else. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think enlightenment is just one moment at a time, and more and more moments of joy and love until finally you have so much love and joy and ecstasy in your, and peace in your life that, um, yeah, you can't go down again. Or if you do, it's only for a second, or you recognize it and go, hey, what am I doing here? And you pop back up to where it's more fun. And uh, it gets easier and easier. I don't know what to say. It's just, I think it's happening to everybody. I'm not alone. It's, it's just happening everywhere. And uh, I think it's easier in a crowd. So we've got to get everybody together on the same page somehow. Let's rebuild the watersheds. We've got to do it. We've got to turn the whole earth back to paradise and actually live in heaven as heavenly beings as we were meant to be. Every single human being can do it. And that's why we're here. That's why there's seven million people. They, they know the agenda. They know they can do it. And that's why they're here. So we got to help. That's the plan. Did I answer your question? <laughs>